<laughs> God, the drive me mad. The drive me mad. The things I do for videos. Okay, I'm in um, Snowdonia, as you know, and the midges and the flying teeth are biting like mad. It's early in the morning. We're at uh, seven o'clock in the morning, and we're on the pass going towards Lamberis. Uh, and um, if you know Snowdonia, there's uh, Plas Brennan, uh, which is a water sports and climbing centre, I think. Uh, just after that, on the left hand side is a lake, and this is the lake that we're at this morning. We've got a lovely, hazy, misty morning uh, with a very still lake and uh, lovely reflections. But the flying teeth are biting like mad. Now, the top tip, and you, a lot of you will know this um, Avon make something called Skin So Soft, and if you put that on, it stops these things from biting you rather than insect repellent. It's a lot cheaper. The problem is, I've left it in the car. Oh, they're horrible, these things. They, they're tiny, yet yeah, they bite like mad. The thing that we've got here is we've got bright blue skies, the, um, and that's why I've stopped here. I've actually driven uh, down towards Lynn Ogwin, and it's really windy, and the light's flat, uh, but in a bright way. Uh, so it's really bright. Uh, so there's no modelling of the hills or the mountains. I was going up towards the Lamberis Pass, which we may do in a bit, but it st still looks pretty flat there as well. So I've been really, really lucky to find this still lake and uh, get a few shots in. Obviously, if we have a look at where we are, we've got uh, the reeds here, uh, which make a nice foreground interest, and the grass, and then the lake is mirror still, with the haze on the front. Uh, people will be looking over here and saying, oh, why didn't you get a composition going in that direction? Well, I have, and I'll show that as well. And I'm shooting at f11 with a prime lens on the front, which is a 24 mil. When I'm looking at this shot, there is multiple ways that you can take this shot. Uh, you can take it at the correct exposure uh, and you'll get a nice balanced shot. Or well, what you can do is you can slightly underexpose it uh, and this is what we've got image wise here uh, you can see if you can see you most probably can't actually but I'll explain it to you what we're seeing is we're seeing a really dark foreground dark background and then just the sky and uh, uh, the lake itself lit up with the Sun as a bright spot just there again what you're concerned about is you're concerned about uh, lens flare and you can try your best not to get lens flare but the only way you'll tell is when you get back it looks stunning that if it works so what I'm going to do is play a bit of music <laughs> and uh, show you two, three, four images of uh, this beautiful, beautiful lake So now we've got the shot directly into the sun uh, with the mirror lake and the mist rolling over. We're going to turn the camera round to our left hand side and get a similar shot. Well, all we're doing is, is leveling the camera up. Oh, I'm getting bitten. I always like to look through the viewfinder. I don't like live view for composing my shots. I don't know why, it's most probably because I'm old. Uh, turn the um, cap round. No silly hats today. Uh, 
Okay, and so what we've got is we've got our wee fence here coming round on our right hand side, drawing us into the into the image, and then we've got this little outcrop of land which is reflected really nicely, and the haze just coming back through the background of the mountain at the back. I'm going to click into live view. Uh, we can't see anything because we're massively underexposed because we were shooting into the sun, if you remember. So as we bring this image in, I haven't got anything on the front because I don't want to lose the uh, the mist. That's better. Right, that's a better histogram. Shooting at 160th at a second at f11. Take it out of live view and just checking that we're pin sharp and what I'm pin sharp for is I want pin sharp on this headland here where the where the bushes are yeah because that's going to be the main place that the eye is going to go to that's something that I'll I'll, I'll talk about really quickly in my opinion and in my opinion is my opinion you'll have your own uh, lots of people and photographers in general talk about pin sharp front to back for me, and this is sometimes why my images might look a wee bit different, uh, I don't know, uh, right or wrongly, is sometimes I'm not bothered about pin sharp front to back. What I wanted to do is lead people into where I'm looking at the shot. So you'll look at some of my images sometimes and you might see it's a wee bit soft in the foreground, but then the area of interest for me is tack sharp and then it may be soft in the background, tack sharp right at the front. I think it's what you're trying to achieve. Uh, so, I did see a comment uh, on another video, it wasn't one of mine, uh, that uh, somebody said, does it really need to be tack sharp from the back? Well, it depends. It depends. If, you, if you're going for a, a poster campaign or a commercial shoot, that's what they want. But if you're shooting yourself, all it needs to be is what you want it to be. And that's the great thing about the artistic nature of uh, photography. You don't have to go by the numbers so much as what you're trying to achieve in the shot, if that makes sense. And as I'm sitting here, this uh, uh, scene is improving even more. If we can have a look. Oh, keep moaning, I know, but these things do bite. Let's have a look at this composition. Look, this is a problem when we're talking to you guys people have mentioned it before is is your photography suffering because we're talking to you I'll let you be the judge you know we try best and that's the shot simple as oh, flying teeth killing me This is a really good example of how conditions can change so quickly. Uh, when it got here, and when we first started filming, if you remember, it was a blanket of mist. Now, all we've got is a little bit of uh, floating mist on the water, and the light modeling the hills, and a bright sunlight. And the thing is, with this type of shot, is this will be the type of shot that you'll get in bright sunlight on a non-windy day. And that's not really what we were after today. After something a little bit different, but it still makes a beautiful shot. I'm really pleased with this morning. Uh, if those shots came, come out a quarter of as good as they look in live room, then I'm gonna be really pleased. But what I'm not really pleased with is these flying teeth. <laughs> Driving me mad. Have I said that before? Driving me mad. Peace.